for those of you that know me, you know that I'm all about convenience and I'm all about making things easier to use. Some people may think this is lazy, some people told me that I'm lazy, but this is not the case. I'd just like to challenge myself. I'd like to figure out new ways that are more convenient. It's as simple as that. It's all about the future. It's like people designing electric cars. They do it for the convenience. They do it for the challenge. I mean, we can still drive cars, but why not be the passenger? So I'm one of those people. Now, one thing in my line of business that I often do is recover data from little gadgets like this. I have internal hard drives, USB drives, SD drives from digital cameras, or even people that have accidentally formatted their portable hard drive. But for years now, I've been using hard drive recovery programs that have been way too difficult even for me to use. And often when the data does get recovered, say 48 to you know 96 hours later, you get some kind of weird looking formatted files with uh, dollar signs and hashtags and you have to go through every single one of them to try and figure out what they were and this makes it especially difficult when you're trying to uh, give the recovered data to a client and they don't know what every file is so you need to rename everything for them and it just gives you a massive headache so I thought to myself why not try and find an easier way to recover data because I've been doing it for years I've always used the same method it's 2019 for crying out loud there must be something easier out there something that's a little bit more intuitive and elegant and so I set out on a little task as I always do to try and find an easier way that I can do things and then share it with you guys and uh, after trying out about maybe six different recovery programs I did find one that really really ticked all the boxes it was easy to use it was intuitive it was fast all the data that was recovered had original file names on there and I was really happy and the actual program interface only had six buttons all I had to do is just click point it to the right direction and I'm gonna share it with you guys today the only thing is that it's not free but sometimes the free programs usually come with bundled adware or they don't even do the work properly so there is some software out there that you need to pay a couple of dollars for to get it to work well in this situation it was thirty dollars but nevertheless if your data is valuable it's worth thirty dollars so as usual I'm gonna jump on the computer and I'm gonna show you the website I went to the program I downloaded how to use the program and as I test I'm going to get a USB stick and I'm going to fill it up with pictures and videos and I'm going to format it accidentally well on purpose but accidentally and then I'm going to try to recover those pictures and videos and it'll be all shown on camera so let's get started and recover some data thanks for watching <laughs> As usual, fire up your browser and visit the website anyrecover.com. Once you get there, you can scroll down and check out the website if you wish to find out more information about this company. Check out some of the capabilities of the program. Or even read the three-step instruction manual. That's right, that's all you need to know, just three steps. That's how easy this is. You can also scroll down the bottom and read some testimonials from previous happy users. The program can be used on both Windows and Mac PCs, but I will be using the Windows version today. You can go ahead and download the program for free, but you won't be able to physically recover any data until a license has been purchased. This will give you a good chance to see how the program works with you. I already have it installed and licensed and I will be using that for the guide today. Upon launching the program for the first time, you're presented with these six categories of recovery which you will need to select in order to let the program know which algorithm is best suited for your purpose. It's pretty self-explanatory, 
Just hover your mouse over each selection to see which method suits your situation best. If you're not sure, however, you can always use the all-round recovery method which combines all algorithms together to best serve your recovery needs. This is where you'll need to choose the original location of your lost data to recover. Most of the times this is on an external device, but I don't have anything plugged in yet, so let me just prepare a USB drive of my own. I just plugged in an empty USB drive into my PC and I'll fill it up with some pictures and videos. After having transferred close to 600 files over to the USB, I will now format the drive and rename it to something that's easy to understand like test USB, so that way we can recognize it in Windows Explorer. As you can see, my test USB is now completely empty and I will put the program to the test and start recovering these files. From the main program window, I will select the external removable device and click Next. On the following window, I can choose the type of files I want to recover or just leave everything enabled if you are not sure. I'm going to select only photo and video since that's all I had in the drive to start off with and for the purpose of making this video just a little bit quicker and simply click on scan. The program performs an initial fast scan which should give you some desired results in about 5 minutes. As you can see, so far it has managed to recover some pictures and all 3 videos that I had with the original name still intact but after the 5 minutes were over, it seems that we're still missing over 500 pictures. Not to worry though, because I will simply run a deep scan after I recover the initial find to a folder of my choice. Now it's time to perform the deep scan. This can take a little longer, but as you can see, it's already found the rest of the 500 plus pictures I originally had in there. Once the deep scan completed, I recovered the files to the folder of my choice, but the original files names have been lost but conveniently renamed by numbers, taking the stress out of renaming the files myself manually. Exiting the program, let's inspect the recovered files. Alternative tech report.